G'day Pocket Watchers. We are here in country, South Australia. Just got permission from the landowner to come and check out these two old vehicles. Now the first one, this is an old Ford. Looks like it could have been a camper van. And this one is an old tracer bin. So Grain goes in up here, spits out there into a, a following truck. So this is an old Massey Ferguson 501. Let's check out the components plate. So you had the... Uh, the axle, the truck following, pulling it along, Massey Ferguson, 501. It's a big brand back in the day. This is just a little tracer bin. It's not that big. Got enough to do small crops. can't get in to show you the bin, but there's a grate that's across here. If you want to see what these look like these days, they haven't changed much. Check out my Aussie Farm series, where my great nephew gives you a tour of all the trucks, all the machinery that's used on a farm. So now let's check out this old camper van. Look at the uh, slide lock at the back. That's what we looked at at the front. Everything is curved. It is just beautifully done. Let's have a bow peg in the That's the locking latch. Just a drop pole. Let's uh, see if the floor is secure. We have four floor. The roof. I can stand up here and I've still got room. The roof is all curved, the sides are all curved. Little windows there. That would have been where the stove would have been, the windows there. Storage space there, and you've got the old seats. Let's have a look at the doors. Even the doors are curved. The inside of the doors. All those spidey webs. So this is the lock. It's a press down slides in to the cavity there so you could drive along and have the doors open back in the day when you were allowed to do that this is your dash not complicated place for the radio your stick shift that's your handbrake you've got your pedals brake clutch and uh, accelerator the other door, driver's side door, window, push that down, you've got to open. So not a complicated dash, just a couple of switches, an air vent, your taco, your speedo, another switch there, and the lights and stuff, and that is it. And this is a curved Windscreen as well, so it's very tight. There's not a lot of room between there and there. It's quite interesting, the design. Very cool. Couldn't tell you the uh, era, but it's uh, early days. If anyone knows the age of this vehicle, leave it in the comments. It'll be greatly appreciated. Any information we can find about these old vehicles is always great to know. There's a lot of them, they'll get lost to history. Yeah, pretty cool. Very low to the ground. The body. It's just very nice. Quite spacious inside, too. And that's the lock. Old mirrors. 
rounded headlights. Lights that check under the hood. Even the hood's nicely rounded. There's the windscreen. It's quite dark, doesn't it? There we go inside. That's a tiny little engine in there. There's not a lot of it. Tiny radiator. Two and a bit hands big. Let's go in there. Everything's little. Very cool. Lights, held on by springs. Wow. This is a very cool find. Thanks very much to the landholder letting us take a tour of these old vehicles. Hopefully I'll come across some more while I'm in the country. And uh, there's a lot of these around in this town. So hopefully I'll get to show you some more. Thanks for watching, book watchers. Stay legal. Temptation is everywhere.